Mike. How's it going? How are you doing? Good. Uh, that final play, uh, I think you took out Aaron Donald there with Rasu, and then, then the four headbutts came. Uh, what was going through your mind? Is that the, When was the last time you were that excited on a football field? Uh, probably the NFC Championship game, um, but yeah, it was uh, it was just an exciting moment. We had gone through a, a, a lot of stuff the last couple of weeks, um, and uh, definitely fell on some hard times and, and didn't didn't play up to our standard. and And Sunday night we got back on track, and that's all that that was. It was just uh, a lot of excitement, a lot of pride in what we did that night. A lot of uh, and you felt everybody felt the way that we competed and the way that we played, and uh, to seal it. Uh, the way that we did with that final play, it's, it just was the icing on the cake. I don't know why I started headbutting Hironis. I think as soon as we got the first down, I just kind of blacked out and started celebrating and didn't come to until he, you know, looked at me like, what the hell are you doing? And, uh, you know, sorry to Hironis and ho thank God I didn't, you know, hurt him any further because we need him this week and, and uh, he's going to step up for us huge. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you and say that it didn't. Um, it certainly did, you know, and and um, it just gives you that little extra edge. That, and I appreciate the edge if that's what you guys want to keep giving me. Um, it's it's awesome. It was it was a cool night. It was a it was, uh, and, and I played up to the standard that I know that I can play. And I and that's um, I got back on track. I, I eliminated the bad plays, and that's all that it was. And that, and um, it was uh, it's exciting to stay on your track. You stay on your standard of play. You stay on your 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 routine and things build and, and we've been building and building. You've been seeing good things on film, even in the tough losses, which was what I was trying to articulate last week. Um, but you know, to put it all together the way that we did Sunday night was a great feeling and a huge one, uh, that we can certainly build off of. And the energy that I felt, I feel as though is, is the energy that everybody felt, you know, they might not have had as spastic of a reaction as I did to it, but, um, it, it worked out in our favor. Um, not that I can remember a lot. Um, you know, we kind of stick to who we have week in and week out. Um, I'm sure that he, he watches them as a head coach and a play caller and a, a play designer to see what's going on and what, how, how teams can, um, exploit the way that, that other teams play. And the Patriots have been the best in the business at doing that for the last 20 years. And so, um, I don't think that it's, uh, it's it's necessarily shocking that people watch the Patriots and what they've been able to accomplish, and I'm sure Kyle has done the same thing. But when it comes to you know just locking in on week to week game plans, we're not watching much of the Patriots until we're playing the Patriots. Mike George said he used Joe Staley as a resource during the last week to be a better captain. Is that someone you also draw upon for uh, future leadership? I guess. As a resource, of course, I yeah, I, I use Joe for just about everything. I still do, I still talk to him two or three times a week. Uh, I still have a routine of calling him the night before the game and doing what we would normally do in the hotel. Um, so I still talk to him very regularly. Anything that I'm thinking about, I can always bounce off of him. He's been a great resource to me since I showed up here, and and uh, he still is since I've since he's left. Um, he's one of my best friends in the world, and he certainly knows a lot about what's going on and what offensive linemen like myself go through week in and week out. And so, of course, I'm, I'm going to try, you know, my bet, one of my best friends just happens to be the one, one of the best that's come around in a long time at our position. So it, it just works out that way. And, of course, the phone's always open. The, the text line's always open with Joe. And, uh, and, and, and anything that I ever need, he's, he's, he's only a phone call away. I think it's just, uh, I, I certainly noticed it. I, th I, I you, you kind of, everybody I think kind of felt it from the first play. Um, the energy that we came out with, the confidence that we came out with, the game plan that we came out with. 
Um, and I think the only way that you can materialize that is through hard work. The last two weeks has been really, really hard. We got our ass kicked by Miami. We didn't close against Philly, and we need and we should have done that. And and to, for us to go through that kind of hard, hard stuff, excuse me, um, has had, had had this leading until that moment on Sunday. And it was building. It was building. And you have to go. You have to experience adversity. You have to experience tough, tough times in order for those kind of moments to rise and to, for those kind of confident, um, for everybody to grow together. And I think that's what we went through those two weeks that after the New York uh, trip. And uh, hopefully we can continue building on this momentum that we gained on Sunday night, and uh, and continue to play the ball that, that that we know we can play. Hey Mike, uh, two things on, on the center position. Uh, one. When you've had uh, kind of the moving pieces that you've had there, whether it's Aronis or Ben or you know not having Weston, how difficult is it communication-wise just knowing the importance of the center and, and calling things out? And also, uh, just what have your impressions of Aronis been other than you know his ability to take some headbutts? <laughs> um, well, communicationally, obviously, everything goes through the center. Everything that we always do, protection-wise, uh, run game-wise, everything works off the center and, and, who, and his command. Um, and we haven't had any lulls in that. Uh, we, we're very fortunate to have the three guys that we've had over my three years here playing center in Weston, Ben, and, and now Hironis. Um, three awesome pros, three guys that are incredibly prepared at all times, three guys with a lot of ability and that can get the job done for us. And um, Hironis has been great since he showed up here. Um, happy that he came in and during training camp where he could get a feel for our system early and then work through it as you know he's gotten a game under his belt when he played against Arizona and did a great job there and he's going to continue to grow and do well for us in, in the next few. And um, Hironis has been great since he showed up. He's he's worked his butt off the entire time. He com he has a command of our offense and he and, and he can make the blocks that he needs to. And he's going to be great for us. Um, can't wait to watch him practice here in a couple minutes. It's going to be fun getting the ground rolling with him and uh, and and keep the keep the thing moving like we have uh, the last week or so. Last one for Mike. Mike, another uh, center question. Uh, Dakota Shepley. He, he came in midway through training camp. Didn't have a very much NFL experience at all, but made the practice squad. Uh, are, are you impressed by that? And what can you sort of tell us about him and what uh, makes him stand out? Yeah, Dakota's been great for us as well. He's uh, he's he's been. Um, uh, I mean, commends to him. Like I, like you said, he hasn't been in the NFL before. He came in from the uh, the CFL and 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 and, and fr he's fr obviously from Canada and and um, has done a great job for us. He came in, competed his butt off, has a lot of great ability. You know, has 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 shown that on on, on multiple occasions throughout, and that's why he's on this team. And, um, he, you know, if that ever, if the time ever came that that, ha that would happen, we have all the faith in the world in him as well. Um, he's a great guy in our room. We love having him. And uh, he's, he's, he's been nothing but great since he's been here. Did you enjoy that video? Make sure to check out these other ones.